Welcome to ATX LED. This is a short video introduction for new installers. What is ATX LED? ATX LED is a whole home lighting system that uses direct current to power lights and ventilation fans. It is a high efficiency system which reduces material consumption by using skinny 18 and 20 gauge wire. In this introduction we will cover the DC system architecture the basic components, and where to go for more information. Part 1. System Architecture The reason to use a DC lighting system is that since LEDs are inherently a DC component, it is wasteful to convert from AC to DC at every single lamp in the house. It is far more efficient to have the AC-DC conversion in a single location. This allows for the use of high efficiency power supplies, reduces the amount of copper used in wiring, and decrease heat loss at each lamp. In the all DC lighting system, we convert from 120 volt AC line voltage to 48 volt direct current at a single location in the home. These power electronics are contained in a structured media panel located in a central location within the house. This low voltage panel will contain the 48 volt power supplies as well as the power distribution board, which distributes 48 volts DC to the switches throughout the house, as well as provide thermal protection for those circuits. There are usually two or more of them for redundancy. The power distribution board passes DC power from the power supplies via home runs to the switches throughout the household. It has six home runs, each of which can provide power to 90 watts worth of lighting. It also has a bonding wire port for static protection and two power supply ports. These power supply ports have automatic failover relays, allowing the board to switch power supplies in the event of a failure. A more in-depth video about assembling the low voltage panel can be found on our YouTube page or you can follow the link in the top right corner. From the low voltage panel, 48 volt DC power is distributed to the driver switches and from those switches we get lighting power. We will discuss the lights and switches shortly. Part 2, the lights. The 4 inch LED is the cornerstone of the low voltage DC lighting system. It is the most common light in the ATX LED lineup and is used as a base unit for load calculations. The 4 inch LED is available in fixed white color temperature. It is also available in tunable white, meaning that the color temperature can be shifted between 2700 and 5000 Kelvin, or in other terms, warm white to cool white. Most of our recessed lights come with easy to use quick connects, as well as spring clips which work alongside of our special ceiling boxes to ease trim out. Find out more about setting up these lights by checking out our YouTube channel or following the link in the top right corner. Our drivers also support many types of LED strip light. Just ask your sales rep to recommend a product. Many conventional fixtures can be used with the DC LED system by utilizing the E26 LED bulb. This is a vanity that was bought from the hardware store that has been retrofitted to use the DC E26 bulbs with an all DC driver switch. Part 3, Switches. The ATX LED switches bridge the electrical gap between the power supply and the lights. They allow full dimming to the user and have other features we will highlight shortly. These are not typical switches. These are self-contained LED drivers with push-button operation. All of them feature strip and poke wire connections which greatly decrease installation time. All ATX LED driver switches have a decorator style front with a dimming slider and feature strip and poke connectors in the back. 
The general layout of a driver switch has a power bus that allows for power in as well as to daisy chain power to another switch. It has LED channels where LED power comes from and it has an accessory terminal. This accessory terminal is where we connect three-way switches or for a fully featured dolly system we would connect our communications bus here. There are many variations of the ATX LED driver switch. They serve different purposes but share similar layouts, meaning that the power bus and the LED output terminals are in the same locations. The DR2 series has two lighting channels, the DR1 has one lighting channel, and the bath has a lighting channel and a bathroom ventilation fan channel. What do I mean by channel? A channel is a lighting output of a driver switch. A single channel can power up to four lights of fixed white and two channels can power up to eight lights of fixed white. This is the same for both of our four inch fixed color LED and our E26 screw in fixed color bulb. Tunable white lights are a special scenario which require two lighting channels to operate up to four tunable white lights. Every switch in the DR2 series operates lights in the same way four tunable white lights on two channels, or up to eight fixed white lights also on two channels. The DR1 cannot operate tunable white lights. It can operate up to four fixed white lights or four screw-in lights. The reason we would use the DR1 is that it costs about half that of a two-channel driver. The ALWS bath and the ALWS DR2C can also operate a bathroom ventilation fan on one channel along with up to four lights from the other channel. Part 4 Installation Now that we have gone over the components and general layout of the system, we will talk about the steps to a successful installation in a home. To begin with, it is necessary to do some planning. Use the home's lighting design to decide the location, styles, and quantity of ATX LED lights and switches. You should also decide at this point whether you want a fully featured dolly automation system or not. And finally, if specialty light fixtures are to be used, decide whether or not to retrofit them for direct current LEDs. As you are making these determinations, you should use our lighting count spreadsheet available from your sales rep. This helps organize the materials based on compatibility and aids in determining load calculations for home runs. This tool is essential for a well-executed installation. The next installation step is rough-in. This comes after framing and the roof is up and it's time to install electrical. At this stage you will install all necessary ceiling boxes and gang boxes. Install the structured media panel to house the DC power electronics. Make sure to install a line voltage receptacle in it. And finally, you will run wiring for every light and switch. This is where planning is important because you want to have the correct amount of lights per switch and the correct load per home run. There is a companion video discussing the rough end stage in greater detail. You can find that link here in the upper right corner. Step 3, Trim. This is where you install all LEDs and switches. You populate the structured media panel with the DC power supplies and distribution board. Troubleshoot any problematic circuits and provision dolly if you went with the dolly automation system. Remember, most wire connections at this stage are strip and poke or quick connect. This should speed up the trim stage versus conventional lighting. This concludes our introduction for new installers. Please check out our YouTube channel for other instructional materials. If you have any technical questions, please consult the wiring guide or ask your sales or tech rep. For more information, visit our website atxled.com or email sales at atxled.com. Thanks for watching.